In this video I'd like to show you how to use a breadboard to wire up circuits. This is what a breadboard looks like. What does it do? Well, all these wires along here are connected underneath by a conductor. So if you plug a wire in here and one in there, they're all connected. Likewise, all the ones along here, all the ones here, all the ones here, all the ones along there, and so on. So it's a way of connecting wires together, which doesn't involve actually twisting things together. So let's say we wanted to wire up a circuit. Our circuit will consist of resistors, which look like this, or of capacitors, which look like this. So how are we going to wire it up? OK, so let's say we want a resistor. We might put one end of the resistor in here. Get our resistor. And the other end in, say, here. And now we want to connect, say, a capacitor. So we might put the capacitor in here. And then go down to here. And these are now connected because beneath the surface there is a connection from there to there. Then we might want to add a voltage source. So let's say we have our voltage source over here. We can use a crocodile clip to connect one to there, and one to there. And that's now equivalent to the circuit with a voltage source, a resistor, and a capacitor. If we wanted to connect an oscilloscope, say to measure the voltage across the capacitor, we could put one crocodile clip here, one crocodile clip there, and run it to the oscilloscope. So very straightforward. You just have to remember the cables connect along this way on the edge and this way vertically. They don't connect between there and there, or between here and here.